Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area, and I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So one of the first videos I did on my channel is called Storage Solutions for Small Spaces, and we're gonna do a little updated version of that video for you. One of the biggest requests I get from clients when I go see them in person is how can they squeeze in more storage if they live in a small apartment or a small home, they have a bunch of stuff, but they don't have enough places to put it. So we're gonna talk about that today and give you some clever storage ideas so that you can squeeze every little bit of real estate out of your place. The best thing I recommend for people who are having storage problems is to have less stuff. I know it's really hard if you were living in a small space and you're trying to keep all this stuff and you're like, but I need all of this. I guarantee you, you don't need all of it. So the first thing I always recommend to clients is to start decluttering. Decluttering process is super difficult. It is not an easy thing. I do have a video on how to declutter. If you're not sure where to start, I will link it in a card or up above and I will link it down below. It is a very, very good thing to do if you're having problems storing items. It's just a simply like downsize on your stuff. Um, you'll find that all of a sudden space appears when you start to get rid of stuff. The next thing I recommend is to invest in some furniture that actually does double duty. It's not only doing one thing, it's acting also as storage. So one of my favorite things that I have in my home is the industrial storage coffee table from West Elm. Not only is it a beautiful coffee table, it is a storage place where you can put stuff. My husband has all of his electronics in there. You can eat there, you can work there, and it is a great little storage solution that when it's closed, you have no idea it's a storage coffee table. It's beautiful. It is just very functional. I love it. So furniture that does double duty is really going to help you in terms of like small space storage. We also have a little cute pop-in seat that I, it, all these things I featured in my first video, but I'm going to talk about it again because we still have our storage seat. Um, and it contains all of our extra blankets and you know, cozy things. I have little warm up slippers in there. So on cold nights, we can just take those blankets out and cuddle on the couch and be really warm. But we don't have to have those blankets out all the time. And when it's not being storage, it is a seat where someone can sit. When it comes to storage, beautiful boxes are your friend. They don't have to be, you know, like plastic boxes that are modular and more practical. If you have a set of beautiful boxes and you need to store things, you can just leave them out and they're beautiful. You can use a pile of boxes as your bedside table, um, or you can just have boxes that are out that are lovely to look at and also functioning as practical storage. I always recommend to clients that if they have sentimental items that they're hanging on to, they don't really do anything, but they're, you know, they're there to, to trigger memories and to make you feel good when you look at them. I always recommend that you buy a very nice, beautiful box that you will take care of and that you will like to look at to hold your precious memories. I have a really nice box next to my bed that's actually a really like heavy, really well made, like a, like a tweed sort of box. And it has all of my like sentimental items in it, like old stuffed animals and a couple of old clover things that I, that he doesn't fit him anymore because he's not a puppy anymore. Actually I found out that the coat that he wore as a puppy um, fits my stuffed animal. So like bonus storage there. But um, I always recommend that beautiful boxes are great for storage and are great for just having out so you can get that extra storage, but you don't have to like put them anywhere. You just have them out. You know what I mean? Also, if you need more storage space, shelving is the best thing you can do. I love shelving. It is so helpful. You have to, you can take up a really small footprint. I have these beautiful Ikea shelves because I needed more space for more plants. Those of you who are plant parents will understand the need for more surface to put your plants on. I was like, I need a little place to put the rest of my plants. And I was like, hey, I'm just gonna put these shelves up and it's gonna be great. The best thing about shelves is you just use that vertical space and you don't have to worry about taking up floor space or using the space on your table or using the space on counters. Um, and these shelves from Ikea were amazing because they have glass shelves so they don't really take up a lot of visual space. It's kind of, Floating, beautiful storage. Shelving is where it's at if you're looking for more storage. Also, if you can, store things on the wall. 
Using the wall for storage is fantastic if you live in a small space because you're not taking up any floor real estate. I love having a like a bar cart, the idea of a bar cart, but I didn't have really room in our apartment to take up floor space with a bar cart. I didn't have anywhere there where there was like a, a good footprint to put it where it wasn't like in the way, if you know what I mean. So instead of having a bar cart on the floor, I was like, well, you know what? I can just build a bar wall. And I got these awesome shelves from Pottery Barn. I think they're discontinued, unfortunately. They don't make them anymore, but there are definitely bar shelves that you can buy. I'll link some similar ones or the ones I can find down below. Um, but this bar wall is amazing and it's next to our um, shelves where we have our plants and I just I call it the jungle bar and I love it so much so if you're looking for more storage space just think think up look up you got space on the wall if you're living in a rental and really can't install things into the wall command hooks are a great solution for um, hanging lighter things don't hang super heavy things on command hooks but if you're looking for some extra storage on a wall and you rent uh, command hooks a good idea I did a whole video on command hooks I again I will link it in a card or down below for you so you can watch that one as well I always recommend to clients to use the backs of doors for storage if they are really, really hunkering for some storage space. A door is there just being a door, just you know, not doing anything except for opening and closing. You can actually use the back of the door or the front of the door for storage. This Alpha Door and Wall Rack is my it's my favorite thing in the entire container store probably because it it, it adheres to the top of the door and adheres to the bottom of the door so the whole solution doesn't swing back and forth. You can take off the baskets, put that back on, super easy. You can have hooks, you can have uh, shoe racks. The shoe rack is genius. Because we don't have an entryway in our apartment, we have just this coat closet, so we needed a place to put shoes. And unfortunately, we do have to open the door where we come into the house and put the shoes onto the rack, but it's super easy. And it keeps them from touching the back of the door, the soles from touching the back of the door or the floor. It's like a win-win for, you know, people like me. You know, you know what I'm talking about when I say people like me. Also, if you are desperate for more storage space or you're trying to store a lot of things, things that change shape like a trombone are your friends. This collapsible bucket is the best thing I've found because bucket, how often do you actually use a bucket? I find myself hardly ever using a bucket, only like in a plumbing emergency, do I need a bucket? Do, do I need a bucket to take up a lot of space under my sink? No. So I found this collapsible bucket at Bed Bath & Beyond and it is genius. It collapses almost completely flat and I store it next to my drawer unit in my under sink cabinet and it is chef's kiss. Also, when I didn't have a lot of counter space, I needed a place to dry my dishes and I didn't want to buy a big dish rack and have that just take up all the space on my counter because that is valuable real estate. So I bought this dish drying mat from Ombra and when I'm done drying dishes, I can just fold it up and put it away and it is genius, genius. You can also just throw it in the washing machine when, you're, when it gets dirty and gross and disgusting. So that's, that's a plus as well. So this one isn't actually for creating more storage space, but it's for creating the illusion that your space isn't so crowded and cluttered is to, if you live in a small space, is to invest in furniture with legs and that lifts most of it up off the ground. A lot of our furniture in our apartment, and especially in our living room, has legs, the couch has legs, so it lifts it off the ground. The poppy table has legs and lifts the main part of it off the ground and so does our television console because that's going to open up all the space below the furniture and it's also great for our Roomba because our Roomba can get everywhere but it just opens up the space a little bit even though our living room has a lot of stuff in it and it's really small it doesn't look too cluttered although some of you might disagree I know some of you could be in the comments like oh girl it looked so cluttered but we don't think it looks that bad, but I, I always recommend to get furniture with legs. If you live in a small space and it feels like stuff's closing in on you, it just opens the space right up a little bit more. I also recommend if clients, especially if they need more closet space, is to think outside the box and get a box put it in your room. <laughs> you can create another closet space by buying either an armoire or using a solution such as Alpha Freestanding. I had an Alpha Freestanding, an amazing Alpha Freestanding closet in my bachelorette pad, which was about 400 square feet. It was such a small apartment, but I loved living there because I basically lived in my closet and I thought it was amazing. I had way too many clothes. However, 
I made it work by building this fantastic closet and you can too. Right now in our apartment that we live in currently, I have this armoire and it basically acts as my concert gown closet because um, in my other life I am a classical singer and I need concert gowns uh, not using them a lot right now but uh, I do need I did need a place to store them and that turned out to be a great solution I didn't need to take up closet space in my like actual closet I can store other things like linens in there as well and the greatest thing about it is I can store things up at the very top I can store all kinds of things that I didn't have room for in my actual closet such as my travel items and things like that the packs system from Ikea is really fabulous for this. It's the best. I always recommend packs for people looking for a freestanding closet that's a little bit cheaper than Alpha freestanding, which can be a little bit pricey when it's not on sale. Um, but the Alpha freestanding closet has the benefit to where it's easy to take apart, easy to put together, and easy to customize if you need to change something. And I've moved it from house to house to house to house for the last, I think, 10 years, and it looks just like it did when I bought it. The last thing I recommend for people like really just they really desperate for some storage space is to just break down and use the space under the bed. Now let me be totally honest with you. I don't like under the bed storage. It's upsetting. It makes the room feel smaller because again, when you lift your furniture off the ground, it it adds a little bit more to the space and it's like weird feng shui. I think it's like kind of not the best. However, if desperate times call for desperate measures, <laughs> under the bed is great real estate. They make some really cute under the bed bins and like real rolly bins where you can store things under there. It's great for out of season linens, um, extra bed linens, uh, things that you don't really need to touch very often, things that you you switch out seasonally under the bed is fantastic for it um but that is always like my last <laughs> my last recommendation is like let's put things under the bed just because i don't like the energy it brings it's kind of weird it's like a weird feng shui thing i think i don't know under the bed always my last resort but again it's a place to store things if you need to store things I hope it gave you some ideas if you are looking for extra storage. I know that everybody is looking for places to put things because a lot of us are now are going out less, buying lots of things like toilet paper. Where are you gonna put all the toilet paper? By the way, stop, stop buying all the TP. Stop, stop. Can I just get one Charmin Ultra Soft roll? Can I get, can I get one? Come on. All right, you guys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't, give it a big thumbs down. I don't care, whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Were you guys looking for Clover Bean? Look at, look at him. He's out. He's out for the count. We were out for a walk today and throwing the ball around. Oh boy. Oh boy.